Please join me, Dave Velasquez, Assistant Head of School for Alumni Relations, as we look back at the history of our school. Brentwood School was founded in 1972 as a nonprofit COA day school. Our seven acre property was purchased from the Brentwood Military Academy, a proprietary institution which had existed since 1902 and moved to this location in the 1930s. Back then, as you can see, no traffic issues existed on Sunset Boulevard, and the school's only neighbors were coyotes and squirrels. The 7th through 12th grade independent school scenario in West Los Angeles in 1972 consisted of two all-girls schools, Marlboro and Westlake, one all-boys school, Harvard, and two recently founded co-ed non-traditional day schools, Crossroads and Windward. Brentwood filled the niche as a co-ed traditional day school. The school, led by three executive directors, opened with 121 students in grades 5 through 10 and 15 faculty members, one of whom, Nicole Bally, who teaches Latin, is still at Brentwood. Here she is, then and now. Chuck Downs, Brentwood's first official head of school, arrived in 1974 and lived in an apartment above the school lobby with his wife Peggy and daughter Cammy, a Brentwood student. The school graduated its first senior class, numbering 11, in 1975. In comparison, recent classes have ranged in size from 108 to 122. And on average, approximately three quarters of our graduating seniors are admitted to the most highly selective colleges and universities in the country. When I arrived in 1980, looking quite young and dapper, the campus consisted of a rundown main building housing administrative offices in grades nine through 12. A trailer park, a far cry from our sustainable classrooms of today served as what we call the lower school, grades seven and eight. Alumni Hall, our cafeteria, was also used as our theater and gym. And the majority of the administrative team was comprised of individuals 30 years of age and younger. All school assemblies for a student body of approximately 400 were held in the North Quad. We did not have a gym or a theater. All home games were played at the old gym at Harvard School in North Hollywood, and all major performances were held in the Little Theater at Mount St. Mary's College. Two science labs were far from modern, and the library was a converted classroom. All traffic entered and exited the school by way of Leighton Drive, the official school address being 155 South Leighton Drive, and there was little diversity within our student body or among our faculty. Early during the 1981-82 school year, Chuck Downs announced that he would be leaving. Our board, a bit weary from dealing with the many ups and downs of getting a young school off the ground, was enticed by a merger offer from Westlake School in their effort to go co-ed. Our faculty, feeling that Brentwood would completely lose its identity, intervened and convinced the board to end merger talks. Subsequently, Hunter Temple was hired as head of school in 1982 and served until 2001. During Hunter's tenure, the school evolved and matured in many ways, and many new traditions were established. The school's first capital campaign was launched, and in 1984, our long-awaited gymnasium, 7th to 8th grade classroom building, was completed on the former site of the school's one tennis court. Much more than just a gym classroom building, it was a tangible symbol that our young school was growing, and that it, indeed, had a very bright future. The Building for the Future campaign funded the construction of our Theater Library Science Complex, which opened in 1989 on today's East Campus. A library serves as the true academic heart of any school. While it took us 17 years, we finally had our academic heart. In 1994, our Board of Trustees made a truly transformational decision and Brentwood became a K-12 school. The school purchased the Marymount Junior School campus from an aging order of Sacred Heart Nuns and our West Campus was born. Since there was only one K-12 independent school on the west side of Los Angeles at that time, we were flooded with applications. Our lower school opened in the fall of 1995 with a full enrollment of 300 students and that remains our enrollment today. One of the most touching and special traditions is our K-12 opening school ceremony on the West Campus held each year on the first day of school. Picture the entire school gathered together, 13 class banners prominently displayed, and our seniors walking in the procession holding the hands of our new kindergarten students. In the late 1990s, the Fulfilling Our Dream campaign provided the funds to build the Arts and Athletics Building on the West Campus, to remodel the libraries on both campuses, as well as the 7th and 8th grade science labs, 
to add $2 million to our endowment fund and to develop a 22-acre athletic complex fully completed in 2002. This complex on land we lease from the VA includes six tennis courts, a pavilion with two regulation-sized basketball volleyball courts, a six-lane all-weather track, five fields, football, lacrosse, baseball, softball, and a small practice field, two bathroom facilities, a snack bar, and some much needed parking. Michael Pratt was named head of school in 2001, overseeing the completion of the Fulfilling Our Dream campaign. On March 20, 2003, the Student Life Center opened on the East Campus. It's like a mini student union resource center to which our students gravitate. The SLC is where many upper school students hang out before and after school, as well as during free periods, breaks, and lunch. It also serves as a center for day and night events, among them the extremely popular Friday Night Charity Coffee House. The Caruso Watt Aquatic Center opened in May of 2008, allowing us to finally host home meets at the school. This project proved true the adage, build it and they will come, as both our swimming and water polo programs have flourished since 2008. During the summer of 2010, our gym and locker rooms on the East Campus were completely remodeled with a new gym floor, new lighting, a new sound system, fresh paint, new CIF championship banners, new scoreboards, and new bleachers. On July 1, 2011, Dr. Mike Riera began his tenure as Brentwood's fourth head of school. He arrived just in time to lead the successful implementation of the 30-year education master plan, and that summer, our upper school studio art room and North Quad were totally renovated. Our upper school students now benefit from a more modern art studio, as well as larger, better, technologically equipped classrooms. In December of 2012, Four 600-square-foot Gen 7 green modular classrooms arrived at Brentwood and were installed on the former site of our old pool. Constructed from recycled materials and powered by roof-mounted solar panels, the classrooms in the Michael D. Pratt Academic Village, named in honor of our most recent head of school, now generate enough energy to cover 100% of their electricity usage, making these classrooms LA's first zero-net energy classrooms on a school campus. They are presently used for both middle and upper school. During the 2012-13 academic year, the school celebrated its 40th anniversary, a milestone marked by several very special events, including Malcolm Gladwell as our John Hudson guest lecture speaker, an alumni cocktail party attended by 300 alumni to which former faculty members and administrators and heads of school were invited a Maroon 5 benefit concert at the Nokia Theater featuring both original and present band members, including Jesse Carmichael, class of 97, Josh Duzik, class of 95, Adam Levine, class of 97, and Mickey Madam, class of 97, and Founders Day, an event which allowed us to honor and thank former school leaders, board members, heads of school, and senior prefects for their contributions to making Brentwood, in just 40 years, such a vibrant, highly regarded independent school. The school has always enjoyed a very positive relationship with our neighbors, the VA, and over the years this relationship has been strengthened and further formalized. In the fall of 2017, a revitalized partnership agreement was announced that ensures the 20-acre athletic complex will remain a shared, flexible green space, integral to the goal of making the West Los Angeles VA a modern community for veterans and their families. Through the establishment of Brentwood School's Veterans Center for Recreation and Education, the school now offers expanded recreational, vocational, educational, and wellness services to the veteran population of the West LA VA. In the spring of 2017, the City of Los Angeles approved a new conditional use permit for our 30-year education master plan for both campuses. A defining moment in school history took place in June 2017 as we broke ground on our new middle school building and field. This celebration, which united generations of Eagles, kicked off a very exciting new chapter in the life of our school. As with every building project that has enhanced and advanced Brentwood School over the decades, the success of the campaign to make Brentwood even better will depend on the generous investment of our entire school community. I must admit, I still get goosebumps at times when I drive down Sunset Boulevard in the morning, past the West Campus, and onto the East Campus, as so much of what I see before me was just a dream in 1980 and represents a vision, 
hard work, and generosity of our faculty, president and past parents, alumni, and our board of trustees. The schools and programs that benefit our students today are a legacy of those who came before. Yes, since 1972, the school has literally been transformed. Many changes have taken place and people have come and gone. Yet the most important aspects of Brentwood, the warm feeling of the community, and the close relationships between faculty and members and students, and among the students themselves, are still very much alive and well, and remain at the heart of what makes Brentwood School the very special place it always has been and continues to be today.